Right, today what we're going to do is we're going to make one of these hanging pots. It's made out of the base of a dead tree fern. They're really great for things like bromeliads and succulents. They drain really well and they last for years and years, probably 20, 30, 40 years. I'll be hanging there like that. So let's get into it. As I'm using a trenching spade, you could use any small spade if you want, but the main thing is that you really sharpen it. If you really wanted to, you could use a small chainsaw. I'm opting for the spade. It's safer. I've really sharpened it, like a chisel. Then you just come in, you've got it hung a base, and see how it just comes out easily. And you start working in until you get right down into the hunger. We want to go about probably about down to here and have about that that wide all around the edges so it'll take me about 20 minutes to do that probably with this about as deep as I want to go you can see it's just eating away as it is to go scrape out the rest you can see how thick it is around here so I've gone down to about you know about as far as I wanted to go now this makes great mulch you can probably, you know, the orchids really like it, mix it with some bark, perfect medium for orchids and bromeliads. And of course all the bromeliad roots and the orchid roots would grow into this too, which will keep it nice and solid. This clay, this bit of soil at the bottom will wash out, plus they might hang some things over the top of it, some hanging succulents. Now once you've got to that stage, you want to turn it around, we've got the other end. Now you can see, that's the trunk, where the trunk was. You can see there's the centre. Now we're going to put our wire up through there. So that hole's very important. It's much better, you, you, it's much easier with a dead pung. You shouldn't, uh, a tree fern, we call them pungas here. Because it's, you've got that hole in the middle. I'm just going to trim this end off. So it's, it doesn't look too unnatural. Just take it off a little bit. And I'll get some wire, some galvanised wire, we call it number 8 wire, some he reasonably heavy gauge, and a small bit of reinforcing rod, which you use for concrete, making driveways and everything. So when we come back, we'll do that stage. Okay, here's our pot. There. Nearly ready for the wire to go in. Now what we've got now is some galvanised wire. This is nice pliable wire. It's number eight wire we call it. And you can see it's about over double the length of the, the pot. And I've double I've bent it over and okay, I've straightened it all a little bit. Just be really careful when you're doing this because these ends are sharp and they tend to spring around, so you want to wear goggles if you're going to uh, work with wire a lot. Now, I've just used to put a nick in it. It's a lot easier than trying to cut it with flies. This is a good heavy here. So now you can see I've got this all ready for slipping through the pot. Now I've got to get this through the pot, so I need to make a hole. Now there's the end. I'll bash down a little bit of the, the centre. It's very easy to do just with a hammer. And I'll put this in. There's just a bit of, if you can't see right, right through, you just put in a, a bit of pipe and you bash it through. See, we're right through. And while I've got that there, I might use this to help me hold it. So what I do now is get the wire. And this is really where you need a pair of, pair of goggles. But you see now I want to have a loop at the end, which is going to go over our hook later on. And now I'm just going to twist. Try and get it nice and even. Twisting around, make sure both are, keep, both are going all the time. And make sure you've got nobody standing behind you. Just the wire flicking around like this. Very dangerous for your eyes. Now what I've done, 
as I've twisted the wire right along, I've got to about where I want. I want to have a reasonably long end to it, so I want to have some higher plants here. So I'm about there. And now I'm going to bend this over at the end. So I'll just fold them back around and just work it around like that. You're not going to see this part, this is going to be inside. You see, I can cut the ends off again, just cut halfway through with the file. It's a lot easier if you haven't got a, a good, really good pair of pliers or your hands aren't really strong. These other ones we can cut already. And out they come. What I've done now is I want to get this threaded through the punga. So I'll just dash this, straighten it out a little bit so it's easy to thread through. So now I'll put the, I'll make sure this end which is the part I started twisting is at the top I'll find the hole and where it goes and there it is down here now you can see that's near what I've got is I've, I can either have a piece of reinforcing steel I've got an old bolt here that I found in the garden so I'll use that as a recycle now I'll put it there and I'll just bash it through to the beginning of that hole there. If I lift it up a bit, you'll be able to see. Now, can you see it in there? Now what I want to do is I want to get this, see, it goes through the wire. Okay, and then just carry on until you bash that right in. And that's gone through to the other side, see? So there's no way That can pull through. What I want to do now is open okay. up this piece of wire, right there. Just bash a nail through or a, or a uh, screwdriver, so that's open. And then what's going to go through there? Just another bit of number eight wire. Make sure it's wide enough. You get it wide around both sides. And again, just twist that around. Be careful. So now what I want to do is bend a couple, take it to there so I know just where it is on the edge. Make sure it's central. And then I want to bend this at a right angle. Down here. It's there. I'll do the same over here. Bend this at a right angle down here. Okay. I want to cut it off to about there. So I'll get my file again. We're going to make sure these are, this is central. And I'll just put these into the side and I'll bash them down. Same thing here. I'll have to bend it a little bit further. And push it in. Make sure this is central. There we go. Make it well in so you don't see it. Once the potty mixture goes in, when it goes up, it's the first part. Now I've just got to do another one on the other side. So the next stage, I've got the other one, the other brace in. Now I'm just going to bash these down so you won't see these at all once it's planted up. This is nice and straight. And you can see when you stand it up and you lift it, it hangs straight. It's really